Good boys and girls, this is Professor Nelson of Electronics. Today we are going to see how to connect a three-terminal switch. This switch has a neon light inside, so these allow us to know when the switch is actually working and if the current that we connect to it is really passing. Unlike other switches, this does tell us that current is present in the pins of our switch. In the case of this other switch, it only allows us to turn it on and off, but it doesn't have any indicators. Now to make the connections with this switch. The only thing we have to do is look at its connection diagram, which is in your data sheet. This diagram will show us how the pins are connected. So the first thing will be to identify which pin is which, since in many cases the pins are not numbered. If they are not listed, at least the pins will have some difference. For example, these two pins, they are the same color, if you can see it. However, the pin here has a gold color. That pin turns out to be pin 3, left like pin 1, 2, 3. Now what would the connections be like? Well, let's see. As indicated, inside it has a neon lamp, similar to the one we have in the pole finders. That neon lamp is here, and it can safely work and connect to 220 volts, or at 110 volts without damage. The connections are as follows. Firstly, if you forget the third pin, this is a normal switch. And how would we connect a light bulb or a motor to that normal switch? Or whatever you want to connect? Well, we must forget about the third pin for the moment to make the connections. Therefore, if I only had pin 1 and pin 2, what I would have to do would be connect this to phase. Phase would enter through pin 1. When you close the switch, it would go through pin 2. And this is where you would have to connect the light bulb. And from here, I would have to send it towards neutral and ready. I close the switch and the light bulb comes on. I open the switch and the light bulb goes off. Now if you look, the neon lamp is connected to pin 2. And you can see that pin 3 is the other pin of the neon lamp. Similar to the connection of our light bulb. Therefore, if you connect pin 3 to the end of the bulb, or directly to neutral, well, the neon lamp must also be turned on. Very well. Let's make those connections and see if the circuit works. Very well, the connections are already made, but there are quite a few cables. Still, don't be scared. Let's see how the connections are. As seen, I have to connect phase to one end of the switch. And from this, you will have to go to pin two. And from there, it will be connected to the bulb in neutral. Firstly, where is this phase? In this case, phase is the red wire. So let's look at it and check that this is the phase with the pole finder. You have to be able to turn on the neon light that the pole finder has. Let's see if this is phase. There is this phase. The loose goes out. So phase is on pin one. Then pin one, two, and three. Then phase reaches pin one, which is the red wire. Now pin two. Where do you have to go? At one end of the bulb. Since here is the black wire, that would be pin 2. From here, it goes to one end of the bulb. And then it has to go directly to neutral. From the other end of the bulb. The other end is the blue wire. The blue wire comes here and is connected through the white wire to neutral. Now if you look at the white cable, the end or pin 3 connects directly to neutral or at the end of the light bulb. And as you can see here, the white and blue wire are connected directly to neutral. Now let's press the switch. The neon light turns on. We turn off. We turn on and that's it. Now we put a light bulb to see that it turns on with the switch. 
In this case, both the light bulb and the neon light or neon lamp are working in parallel. As you can see, the neon light bulb is very useful. With it, we can know if the problem is caused by the switch. Or the problem is in the light bulb. So it is very good to have this kind of switches. This way we can be sure that the problem is in the light bulb. Well guys, that would be all. I hope it helps you at work. And be very careful with the 220 volts. Respect the current. See you in the next video. And if you like the video, a like helps the channel a lot. See you. Bye bye.